An 18-year-old Middlesex County man has been arrested and charged in connection with a threat made to New Jersey synagogues late last week. Law enforcement officials say Omar Akatol of Sayerville is charged with transmitting a threat on social media in which he talks about targeting a synagogue to attack Jews. The manifesto led to warnings from the FBI in New Jersey of a broad security risk to synagogues across the state. Authorities say Akatol admitted to rise writing the document and using inflammatory language about relations between Jews and Muslims, telling a person he shared it with that the words were, quote, in the context of an attack on Jews. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office in New Jersey, Mr. Alcatol was charged with one count of transmitting a threat in interstate and foreign commerce, punishable by a maximum of five a years Jewish in prison. human rights organization wants you to know about what it calls an anti-Semitic hate crime that happened in West Rogers Park yesterday. The Simon Wiesenthal Center says four men got on a bus as it was dropping off students from an Orthodox Jewish school. The group says the men yelled anti-Semitic slurs and even gave a Nazi salute. The driver finally forced the men off. We want Grandmaster Jay to walk out with us. That's what we want. That's what we want. The scene today demanding full exoneration. That's what Grandmaster Jay's supporters are praying for this morning outside the federal courthouse in downtown Louisville. John Johnson was the leader of the militia group. He was convicted of a wanton endangerment charge after prosecutors say he pointed an assault rifle at LMPD officers during the 2020 protests. WHS 11's Alexis Jones is the official sentencing and reaction from supporters. Today's sentencing left loved ones and supporters disappointed and heartbroken, but they say it's not going to end here. They're not going to give up until Grandmaster Jay is free. It will go down on history that Louisville, Kentucky is on the wrong side of history. That's what it's going to go down in. Seven years and two months, a sentence that Grandmaster Jay's supporters are calling a miscarriage of justice. We want justice and we want it now. A federal judge announced John Johnson's fate Tuesday afternoon. Johnson was the leader of an armed black military group called NFAC. He was found guilty of two charges after prosecutors say he pointed a gun at officers in September 2020 during a protest for Breonna Taylor. However, Johnson claims he was just trying to see who was on the roof and not trying to harm anyone. The judge dismissed a charge of assault on officers, which would have required 20 years in prison. However, Kathleen Parks of the National Action Network says that's not good enough. You know, it was just a few days ago that a friend of mine, Paul Pelosi, was attacked in his own home. Somebody breaks into his house looking for his wife, Nancy, the Speaker of the House. And by the way, it's not just politicians, whether it's out of malice or ignorance. We've seen recently Big celebrities reposting vile, anti-Semitic conspiracy theories online. And, and, and I, you don't have to be a student of history to understand how dangerous that is and how unacceptable it is. And, and, and I, I don't know when we decided that we were just going to believe everything we read on the Internet. Here, here's a tip for you. If you read or see something online that has some grand theory about how some particular group, whether it's black folks or white folks or Jews or Catholics or immigrants or gays, if you read and, or see something that says they're the cause of all your problems, then it's safe to say it is garbage. They've been it lying is a for lie. so long and living this lie of being Jews. They talking about, hey, Kyrie, you got to come and speak to the Jewish Brooklyn leaders. Where are they? Come speak to us. The truth of this Bible was given unto you, Israelites. You got a problem with us being Israelites? Come talk to us. We're going to bring you this Bible, thus saith the Lord. This gospel is spreading. You cannot contain the truth of the Bible. There's many things that's evil going on in the land of Israel, but there's no media coverage for that. But when black people do crime in the hood, it's all on the news. It's all on the news. Who control the news? The Jewish media, like Kanye West said. Now let's see what color they are. They are black. Shalom, Koloyim La, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, also with the bonds, Elzer GMS, and honesty, Akim. Peace and blessings to you, brothers and sisters that listen to Hopeful Elect. Koloyim La, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. And uh, beautiful times being there, beautiful. Truth is going out. This word has not gone to avoid Israelites, you jakes from all walks of life. 
whether you're rich or you're poor, status or no status at all, everybody's hearing this truth. Everybody done seen and everybody done heard, man. Like Yahweh Shai said, there's no covering for anybody's sin. Okay, before it's all said and done, Yahweh Bashim al Shai is going to magnify this word, man, on a whole nother level, and we're seeing that. And of course, the enemy sees that Aisha, and he's scared, and he's making his moves. And even though it's tacky as hell, we see with the whole synagogue, first they said it was a, um, uh, first they said it wasn't a serious threat. Now they said um, they took the threat more serious, and I was a Muslim, 18 year old boy. Some bullshit, man. You know, and you look at the comments, people, people said this shit sound fake. It is fake, man. Right? He's creating a certain narrative. Right? We see Jam Master J got locked up. And of course, you see IUI CNA PR stunt, you know, looking for more uh, attention. Um, going out there protesting on Kyrie's behalf. You know, these guys just looking for clout, man. But at the same time, and of course, you had Esau and his journalists were there and they had their interview. So, um, we know these devils going to make their move real soon, man. Okay? We know that, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al they're going to set something up and they're going to try to frame the men of the Lord. Okay? Because why? They see the word is being pushed out, man. Okay? And this is the talk of the town. It's the talk on social media. It's the talk in the media. Okay? About this whole film and all these celebrities awaken to their identity. And a lot of them know, but they just won't say, okay? Because they love the praise of men or they love this world more than the most high, man. But that's why the scripture says this. We get Jeremiah 50, verse 43. We know Jeremiah 50 and 51 is mainly going into America, Babylon, man. Okay. But it says, Jeremiah 50, 43 says, The king of Babylon, which we know the king is who I saw. Well, he's a modern day pharaoh and he's a modern day king of Babylon. Babylon is America. Have heard the report of them. So he heard this report. And his hands whack feeble. Again, anguish took hold of him. And pangs of a woman in travail. So he heard this report. All right. The elite on down. They heard this report, man. And they see the truth spreading. Okay. And the scripture says they what? Now they're being feeble, man. Their hands is what? It's feeble. Okay? The scripture said anguish took hold of him and pangs of a woman in travail. They're greatly upset. And this is also similar to when Daniel gave that report to Belshazzar, man. <laughs> he numb you said your kingdom is numbered, man. All right? This is it for you, man. He got taken down that night. So this king of Babylon, he hears the same report. Babylon's destruction your destruction and you going to captivity and he sees the saints as being what awakened man the israelites okay the elect is gathering so the scripture says they're like what like a woman in travail man calling like how about she he's shaken by this thing we told you jakes this is the um the real threat this truth, this truth is a considered a a threat to their national security. Of course, we know overall the the chariots, but this truth, man. Okay, that's why they have the moles out there, the agents out there, and that's why they're gonna try to frame us because we are the main targets, the prophets, man. All right, we get the next precept. As a matter of fact, let me get Psalm seventy one, and let me get. Um, Example in uh, the book of Esther. We read Psalm 71. Let's see Psalm 71, verse 1. It says, It's a prayer. In thee, O Yahweh, shall I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline that ear to me and save me. But thou, my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort, that has given commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. In order to be, have the most high be your rock and your fortress, or that strong tower, you need to have the name, man. Okay? 
And there, and we broke this down already. Anytime you see the word capital L R D, that's his name. All right. It says deliver me on my power out of the hand of the wicked. We know who the wicked is. I shall. All right. Starting with the elite, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel men. For thou art my hope, O Lord, power, thou art my trust from my youth. Maritha verse 10. By thee have I holden up the womb, thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowel, my praise shall be continued of thee. That's why we do this work, that's why we do these videos. She talks about the sacrifice of your lips. Okay. I am a one unto Mary, but thou art my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and thy honor all the day. Cast me not off in a time of old age, forsake me, not when my strength fail it. For my enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together. See, this is what they're doing right now. They're taking counsel against the men of the Lord, man. The scripture says they um they conspire against the hidden ones when you read Psalms the 83rd chapter. Right? He also tells you in Psalms the 64th chapter. They get that. Okay, the enemy's on the move, man. This is why the scripture says more than ever, you have to be circumspect, constantly watching. Okay, watch how this plot unfolds. All right, that's what he said. Um, Psalm 64, verse 1 it says, Hide me, from my hear my voice, O most high, my prayer, preserve my life from the fear of the enemy, which we have many enemies. We have the nations, we have Aisha, we have two thirds of our own people. Okay. Hiding from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. So scripture, he said the secret counsel, the elite, man. Okay. The elite, man, and they different secret groups. Okay. And the other militias that they have set up. All right. That's a secret counsel who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bow to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. So they're going to slander us. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Who's the perfect man? Suddenly, the, the the hopeful elect. All right. Suddenly, do they shoot at them and fear not? So they are gonna shoot at us. Scripture says, with what? Um, their tongue is gonna be what? Is it gonna be like their sword or their weapon? Which is what they media. How they spin things around, man. Okay. That's what they gonna try to do to us. Frame us. You see, but Yahweh Shem is gonna be with us anyway because this happened in the past. We read the book of Esther, man. Matter of fact, let me get that. I think it's Esther 14. Huh? Matter of fact, let me read Isaiah 29, 21. We need to get this precept. Isaiah 29, verse 21. It says, Oh man. Verse 20, for the terrible one is brought to naught and the scorner is consumed and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. That make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate and turn aside a just from a thing that is not. So the scripture says what he lay for snare for him that reproveth in the gate. All right. That's who. Who reproves in the gate? The prophets. The prophets were always in what? The chief place of concourse. The marketplaces, public places, reproving the wicked, man, reproving our people. And scripture also says that we're um, prophets of the nations, where we also upload it online. So everybody sees this, man, including the wicked, including two thirds of our people, everybody. All right. But the scripture says they're going to lay a snare for him. Traps, man. OK, just like they try to do the Yahweh Shai, they try to catch him in his words, the wicked Pharisees and Sadducees. You see, and um we know with Aisha, you know, they did it in times past with their edited clips, you know, try to um, show us in a bad light, so to speak. Or they didn't have the technology to make people um, say the things that they didn't say. Or he has provocateurs, people coming up to the camp, you know, trying to cause trouble or strife, man, or conflict. That's what scripture says in 2 Corinthians 6 chapter, you know, you're not supposed to do anything where you can cause the ministry to be blamed. All right. Because why? Now, the truth is under a spotlight now, man. And he's he's going to make his move. So that scripture says what? They make it a man offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate. So we know the snare is coming. All right. 
He has control over the media and he has control over these people's minds. But we just going to keep um, on that straight path, man. The straight gate. Well, let me get uh, Sirac. I wasn't going to read edition of Esther, but you know what? I'll probably say that for another lesson. Let me get that Sirac chapter 36 verse 1. This is a good prayer. He says, have mercy upon us, O Yahweh Bashem al Shah, power of all, and behold us. And send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. So he says they're going to fear the name of the Lord from what? The West. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. Right? All these heathen nations. They're about to see. They're about to witness the power of Yahweh Bashem al Shah. All right? He's going to do great works, man. This is also part of that great work, which is the awakening. You see? And then when they physically come against the saints, he's going to actually give his elect men power, man. All right? But anyway, let's read on. It says, as was thou sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us. And let, thou, and let them know thee as we have known thee, and that there is no power but only thou, O Most High. Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, Yahweh Shai, who's coming back to save his elect. And they may set forth thy wondrous works. Okay? He's going to show what? New signs. All right? Beautiful, man. Call him now, Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy, man. Okay, and this is what he's going to do. All right. And um, he even said that brings joy to a man's heart. He that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And we in the time now where we're going to see the, the witness, the downfall of Aisha. Well, we're seeing it right now. Okay. His slaves are rebelling, man. Calling him out, rebuking him, reproving him. All right. Exposing him, man. And at the same time, he's going to enter another world war and he's going to lose this one. All right. But the scripture says, verse 16, reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. And Adam Rogers are, you know, from the apostles and elders on down, brothers, we are the prophets, man. OK, if we endure, you see, and he said, what we're going to get that what that reward, which is power over our enemies. Right, rulership over the nations, and of course, immortality. I need our brother Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Matter of fact, let me read that. I think it's one Revelation twenty. Let's see, Revelation chapter twenty, verse. Um. Let's go. Revelation chapter twenty, verse. I think seven. The point is in verse nine. It says, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. Which is, this is going into the Renaissance period. Okay, this is going into the Byzantine Empire, to the Renaissance period. They came back into power and rulership. Okay, they whitewashed and turned everything upside down. They were loosed out their prison. Satan is just a genetic term. Right, just like the Lord called his disciple Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. Satan is just me adversary. So I'm literally talking about the spiritual demon. Shall go out to deceive the nations which are on the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is at, as the sand of the sea. Right? And they went up on the breath of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about, man. All right? Compass his elect and the beloved city. Okay? That's the New Jerusalem, the 144,000, man. Right? And fire came down from the Most High out of heaven and devoured them, man. So when they come up against the saints, man, they're going to be destroyed, man. She says new signs and new wonders. Yahweh Shai said in that day, you guys going to do even greater things. Okay? Calling my Yahweh Bashim al Shai. So nothing, no enchantments is going to work against the Heavenly Father's elect. As soon as they try to come past us, the enemy coming as a flood. They are going to be devoured, man. All right. So, like I said, man, yeah, we are the main target, but we're going to be delivered out of Maratazah. So, that I'm going to say, Kolaim La, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.